Это все. Hey Tigers, I'm Alex for the second time this week, back with more information with AP testing and Wellness Thursday. Oh, and by the way, May 30th is National Creativity Day. So get out there and do something outside of your comfort zone and get creative. I'm your wonderful, good looking anchor Johnny. And guess what? Today, you all get to get your yearbooks. Remember, go behind the school at lunch with your ticket to pick it up. Thanks for that, Johnny. I'm Luik, here to deliver you your Tiger Sports. Now, here's the news and announcements that you, you might need to know. There is an amazing new canned food drive. Start starting. Let's go over to a video from Renfo. Bro, you messed me up, bro. Oh, yo. Yo, 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 listen up, <laughs> don't you know, yo. it's time to help out with the camp food go. Yo. From May 28th to the 31st, Third. Tigers get back, so don't, don't be the worst. In front of the big gym slat, that's, that's where it's at. at. Been standing tall, so take them all. Dub your cans in, show some love. Don't be shy, cause you are that guy. Soup's a specialty, so bring it if you can. But any donations <laughs> welcome, lend a hand. Beans, veggies, or some good old fruit. Each one adds up, no need to dispute. Boom, stop, boom, boom, bop. Camp oh. food drive, donate. Happy Wellness Thursday, Tigers. As the year comes to an end, here's a video reminding on perseverance and resilience to make it to the finish line. After many years of delay, the 24-hour relay was back this year and participants had a ton of fun. If you missed out on it all, don't worry, our reporter Kaya Baker has this for you. at the 24-hour relay. It is wet and cold, but nothing can stop our Tigers from running. <laughs> the 24-hour relay is happening, and oh, is that first time we brought it back yeah. in many years. Uh, we got 170 t uh, people on teams. The rain was kind of a bit annoying at the beginning, but we definitely got through it. We have our magnificent board of uh, tallies from teams over there. I've had so much fun. The beginning was kind of bad. Everything was pouring, and it felt like like the trenches, everybody got wet. I thought I was literally, my feet were gonna run off, but now it's dry and it's fun. Basically, the gist is, is people are gonna run and have fun. Uh, we have a hypnotist here who's gonna be doing something very quickly. We're uh, playing uh, spike ball, watching soccer run, doing frisbees. We're here to have a good time. Everyone had fun that night, including Mr. Dickinson. Did you know that he also was part of the 24-hour relay in his high school time? So when I was a student at Slow High, um, the 24-hour relay was a huge part of, of our school experience and very memorable. So I definitely did it, definitely played in rock bands up on the stage for the 24-hour relay, and it's, it's fun to see it back after a period of time when it went away. <laughs> Talk of the town is the boat race. The top 10 teams with the most laps by 12 o'clock midnight get to be in the boat race in the pool where they try to build a boat out of duct tape and cardboard and swim across. We don't know yet if the 24 hour relay is coming back next year, but if so, don't forget to sign up to run and have fun. Yes, do it next year. Be on my team because it's going to be ultra fun next year. Did you take an AP test or DSET this year? Did you buy some prep books or make some flashcards and have no idea what to do with them now? I have a solution for you. Bring them to Mr. Mamarella's classroom 
122. No problem if they've been written on or filled in. They'll be put to good use next year for students following in your footsteps. Freshman orientation will take place on Friday, August 9th. Come be a part of the crew that welcomes our new Tigers to campus. Training will take place a few days before. If you have ever wanted to, to get more involved in activities at Slows, this is a great way to start. Follow the QR code to get more info. Now over to our amazing, outstanding, stupendiferous anchor with our Tiger Sports. Spring sports have been wrapped up for quite a while now, but hey, that was still an incredible season. If you want to stay active, you should try out dance next year. If so, check this out. Hey Tigers, I'm Miss Mettler, your new dance teacher. I am so excited to bring this dance course to Slow HS. It's going to be epic. So we have Dance 1 and Dance 2. Dance 1 is entry level for those that don't have any or much dance experience at all. Dance two will be if you have previous dance experience. If you're interested in either class, please fill out this Google form below by May 31st. I know, it's right around the corner, please fill it out. Um, if you are interested in dance two especially, please submit a one minute audition tape to Mr. Dickinson, also his Email address is, address is right below. Um, so please submit that by June 2nd, Sunday, June 2nd. I know it's right around the corner. You have finals. Please submit it. We want you in this dance program. It's going to be awesome. Take care, you guys. Have a wonderful summer, and I'll see you next year. Tigers, make sure to go outside, stay active, and stay in shape, even if there's no school sports. Get, get lots of steps in and drink lots of water, Tigers, especially as the heat starts to rise. Now, back to Johnny and Alex with today's lunch and U.S. history. For lunch today, we will be having Italian sausage and pepper sandwich, barbecue chicken sandwich, corn on the cob and a biscuit, garlic burger on a bun, local cheese box with cow poly cheese, or cob salad with the roll. Wow, that sounds good. <laughs> And today's in the U.S. history. On May 30th, 1942, Fred Korematsu is arrested in San Leandro, California for resisting internment under President Franklin Roosevelt's controversial Executive Order 966, 9066, which called for the incarceration of nearly all Japanese Americans in the United States in the wake of Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. Following his conviction and incarceration in a Utah camp, Korematsu, then 23, filed suit in federal court. His case eventually wound up before the U.S. Supreme Court, which in 1944 upheld the government's claim that the incarceration was a matter of military urgency. In 1983, however, a federal judge reversed Korematsu's conviction for evading internment, ruling a great wrong done to him. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan issued a public apology on behalf of the government and authorized reparations for former Japanese American internees or their descendants. That is all for today, Tigers. See you tomorrow. You stole my line, bro. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs>